who do you want to become? Stay still. I think that's the better question. I haven't done New Year's resolutions in a few years now for the same reason. The same thing happens year after year. I have all these goals, these aspirations, and then they all fall apart. And then I came across this quote. If you want to do things that you've never done before, you have to become someone you've never been before. Oof, brutal. So instead of giving myself a whole bunch of impossible tasks that I know I will not continue doing past March, instead I've given myself a word, one word that I can craft my life around and so that I can just become a little bit more like that. Because if you don't have an idea of who you want to become or who you need to become, and you have all these tasks that you want to do, you'll never get them done. Because you're the wrong type of person. I'm the wrong type of person to do the tasks because I would have done them already. So who do you want to become? Who do I want to become this year? And my word is faithful. How can I take the things that I already have and do the best that I can with them? And because I'm talking about becoming a whole different person, I need to look at my whole life as it is right now. And I split my life into kind of four areas to think about. My family, my soul and my mental health, my body and my work. Because I really believe that in order to have any chance at completing resolution tasks that you have for yourself, I have to look at my whole life first and say, how can I improve everything about myself? Even if it's just like a little bit, even if it's just, just 1%. Because I found if I just improved one area and I just like focused all my energy on one area, uh, that would work for a little bit, but then all of a sudden, other areas, I would look back and other areas of my life would just be up in flames. <laughs> and so I realized that I can't just like narrow down on one area. I have to look at everything and improve everything in my life just a little bit. At the very beginning of my photography career, I was, I wasn't even a photographer. I was in design school thinking I was going to be a designer and all of a sudden people were asking me to take photos. They were giving me tasks and I was very excited about it. I was like, you will give me money to take photos of you? <laughs> what? Uh, and this was awesome. And I, it was an incredible way to start a photography career. The only problem was that I was just following a list of tasks for other people and I had no vision. I had no vision or idea of who I wanted to become or what my work was going to be like. And because of that, I got really burnt out because I was the type of person that needed like a vision and a goal and a reason to why I was doing what I was doing. And I was just completing a whole bunch of tasks. I was becoming just like a shutter monkey, taking, like hitting the shutter for other people for what they wanted. I had no idea of who I wanted to become as an artist. And I was at the verge of quitting my photography business, my wedding business. In fact, I actually remember sitting across from a client and we were shooting their wedding later that year and I was saying like, yeah, we're not doing weddings anymore next year. What? And it was around that time that it was actually my wife, Allie, uh, put something into my mind and that completely changed things for our wedding business. And that was, 
who did I want to become? What kind of photographer did I want to become? And how that happened was she was actually researching these like kind of top wedding photographers in the in the wedding world and I was getting inspired about who they were. They had a very singular vision. They had a very clear idea of who they were and the type of photography that they shot. And that inspired me to really think about like who do I want to become? Like do I want to become an artist? What kind of artist do I want to become? And that changed everything for my wedding business because I now had a vision. A couple years after that, I decided I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to have a space where I can grow my personal work vision, right? I have this business and that's awesome. It's great. And we love our wedding business. Uh, but I wanted to have some type of personal work. Person, like I wanted to be an artist uh, and have my own vision of not necessarily like paid commercial work, but something I could really pour myself into and create my own voice as an artist and photographer. And I thought a good way to do that would be to make videos and take photos and do personal work, but bad habits started to come in again. And I started looking at statistics and I started looking at like, what do other people want? What do other, what tasks do other people want me to make videos of so that they can be happy? And the problem with that is that you get burnt out. You get sick and tired of making videos with no vision, with no goal, with no idea. I was just doing tasks instead of becoming the person, becoming the artist that I wanted to be. So this is my goal for this year, is to become a different person so that I can do things that I've never done before. Thank you.